it's Melody Miracolis! It's so nice for you to have joined me on this fantastic day. I'm honored to have you in my music studio, where we will be working on improving our musicianship skills from the safe places of our homes. In my studio, we will be singing songs, playing games, and enjoying one another's company. I hope that Melody Miracolis adds excitement to your day as you explore music with me. Thank you for joining me. Please, feel free to leave a friendly comment after watching my video and push the subscribe button. Oh, and don't forget to like the video and let your friends know how much fun you're having. Alright, it's time for us to enter Miss Cossack's studio. I can read with my eyes shut, with my eyes shut, with my eyes shut. Dr. Seuss, I can read with my eyes shut, with my eyes shut, with my eyes shut. Let's get it. I can read in red, I can read in blue, I can read in pick of color too. It's what I do. I can read in bed, and in purple, and in brown, I can read in a circle, and upside down, I can read with my left, I can read with my right eye. I can read Mississippi with my eyes shut tight. Mississippi and Annapolis and Hallelujah too. I can read them with my eyes shut. That's very hard to do, but it's bad for my hat. Makes my eyebrows red hot, so reading with my eyes shut. I don't do an awful lot, but when I keep them open, I can read with much more speed. You have to be a speedy reader, cause there's so, so much to read. You can read about trees and bees and knees and bees on trees and bees on trees. You can read about acres and all about ants. You can read about ankles and crocodile pants. You can read about hoses and how to smell roses and what you should do about owls on noses. Now cats, if you keep your eyes open enough of the stuff, you will learn the most wonderful stuff. You'll learn about fish bones and wish bones. You'll learn about trombones too. You'll learn about Jake, the pillow snake, and all about Foo Foo, the snoop. Ah! You can learn about ice, you can learn about mice, mice on ice, and ice on mice. You can learn about the price of ice, mice on school sale, ten cents a pill, mice on school sale. You can learn about sad and glad and mad, there are so many things you can learn about, but The best thing if you keep your eyes shut. The more that you read, the more that you'll know. The more things you'll learn, the more places you'll go. You can learn a way to earn a few dollars, or how to make donuts or kangaroo collars. You can learn to read music and play the huzzah if you keep your eyes open but not keep them shut. When you read, you are likely to find that the places where you're going is so far, far behind. So, that's why I tell you to keep your eyes wide open. Keep them wide open. At least on one side. And that's what Dr. Seuss says. He's a doctor. I can read with my eyes shut. With my eyes shut. With my eyes shut. But I don't. I can read with my eyes open. With my eyes open. With my eyes open. Seuss. Hey, I hope you enjoyed reading. I can read with my eyes shut with me. Remember, don't forget, read with your eyes wide open. I hope you enjoyed reading. Seuss. Hey, I sure hope that you enjoyed my performance of I Can Read With My Eyes Shut. Dr. Seuss is a very creative author, and I love the way that he uses his words. He inspires me both as a reader and as a musician. If you like the music that I was using for that rap, I'll put a link for that music in the description below, so check it out. Now today, we're going to be focusing on music, but we're going to be incorporating music with literature. It's one of my favorite things to do. One of the books we'll be reading is Mary Had a Little Lamb. In this particular version, it's written by Isa Trapani. I love this author and this illustrator because all of her imagery, her illustrations are very bright and colorful. I would encourage you to buy this book and read it in your free time. After we read this book, we will also be singing Mary Had a Little Lamb, and I'll be teaching you some solfege hand symbols. Next, 
we'll read Pete the Cat and Five Little Bunnies. Y'all know that song of the five little monkeys jumping on the bed? Well, this is a, an arrangement or a variation of that very song. So we'll be singing a song, um, but instead of having monkeys, we'll have bunnies jumping on the bed. And at the very end, we're gonna be playing and clapping and tapping some rhythms to boom, baby, boom, boom. I'll read the book and at the end, we'll be doing some cool little activities with it. So please stick around to the very end I promise you, you'll enjoy it and have some fun. Mary had a little lamb, as told and illustrated by Isa Trapani. Mary had a little lamb, its fleece was white as snow. And everywhere that Mary went, the lamb was sure to go. And then one day, the little lamb decided to be free. And so it wandered off along to see what it could see. Across the field up to the barn the little lamb did stray. And there it met a big brown horse and led it out to play. But when the gate was opened up, the horse went charging out. And in its dust, the little lamb went stumbling all about. It bumped into the tough old goose as she was walking by. She flapped her wings and hissed and pecked, which made the poor lamb cry. The cow woke up and kicked a pail right up into the air and gave the lamb a milky bath as it was standing there. The little lamb raced back outside, escaping, taking off. But as it ran, it tripped and fell into the water trough. The lamb stood up and shook its fleece, but did not realize the old barn cat would surely get a very wet surprise. The cat let out a shriek so loud it gave the hens a scare and made them cluck and run around in circles everywhere. In the middle of this fuss, a grumpy goat came by and gave the lamb a mean old butt straight up into the sky. Into the pig pen fell the lamb and got completely stuck. Then all the way from head to hoof was covered up in muck. When Mary found her little lamb, its fleece was muddy brown. She cleaned it up with lamb shampoo and gently hosed it down. She brushed and fed the little lamb and kissed its sleepy head. It looked at her with sheepish eyes and then it went to bed. Did you know that the famous nursery rhyme, Mary Had a Little Lamb, was actually a poem written by Sarah Josepha Hale? She wrote the poem on May 24th of 1830, and the poem was possibly inspired by an actual incident. Here's one description of Hale's biography of how she came to make this story. Quote, Sarah began teaching young boys and girls in a small school not far from her home in Newport, New Hampshire. It was at this small school that the incident involving Mary's lamb is reputed to have taken place. Sarah was surprised one morning to see one of her students, a girl named Mary Sawyer, enter the room followed by her pet lamb. The visitor was far too distracting to be permitted to remain in the building, and so Sarah turned him out. The lamb stayed nearby till school was dismissed, and then they ran up to Mary looking for attention and protection. The other youngsters wanted to know why the lamb loved Mary so much, and their teacher explained it was because Mary loved her pet. If you want to learn more about the original poem, Mary Had a Little Lamb, you can go on to Google and type in Mary Had a Little Lamb by Sarah Josepha Hale. Now, come and join me and learn the hand soul fetch symbols for Mary Had a Little Lamb. 
Hey, we're gonna practice some solfege hand symbols. So go ahead, get your hands all warmed up. Ooh, looks like I'm washing my hands, huh? Make sure that you're washing your hands 20 seconds with soap and hot water, okay? There's a virus going around, we gotta take care of ourselves. Okay, hands are all warmed up. Let's do some soul fudge singing. Do the hand symbols with me. We're gonna start with do, then we're gonna go to re, mi, fa, and so. Those are the only hand symbols we're gonna work on today for our song, Mary Had a Little Lamb. So, let's start with do. Do, make sure your hands are in fists. Do, now this is re, looks like we're about to karate chop. Re, sing it with me. Re, now we're going to me, kind of like you're showing off the world, like, hey, look at me. Me, me, me. Then we're going to fall, our thumbs fall to the ground. Woo, fa. Now we're going to so, like so, okay? Show me so. So, so. Let's go back to fa. Fa, fa. Going to me. Me, me. Karate chop, ray. Ray, ray. And then fists. Do. Do. Let's put that whole scale going up and down together. Looks like this. Join me. One, two, ready, go. Do, re, mi, fa, so, fa, mi, re, do. Was that too fast for you? <laughs> Let's try it again. One, two, start with do. Do, re, mi, fa, so, fa, mi, re, do. Those are all the hand symbols that we're gonna use for this song. Here we go. My hands are still a little cold. I'm gonna warm them up a little bit more. <laughs> Guys, I'm recording today, it's just so cold. It's like, what, it's like 80 degrees, 70 degrees something, like two days ago, and now it's like ready to snow. What is this? Bipolar weather, man, it's all over the place. All right, let's see if you recognize this song. If you know the song, I want you to say the words while I say the soul fetch. You say the words, I say the soul fetch. One, two, ready, go. Mi, re, do, re, mi, mi, mi. Re, re, re. Mi, so, so. Mi, re, do, re, mi. Mary had a little lamb. Yeah, you got it. So now I'm going to sing uh, the solfege for Mary had a little lamb, and I'm going to break it up in parts, and I want you to do the hand motions with me. Got it? Get it? Get it? Got it? Good. Let's do it. So I'm going to do, I'm going to break it into the first part, part one. Mi, re, do, re, mi, 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 re, re, re. Me so so. Oh, that's a lot. Can you do the hand motions with me? Let's say the words. One, two, say the words. Mary had a little lamb, little lamb, little lamb. Yeah, not too shabby. Let's go back to the soul fetch words, starting with me. One, two, ready, go. Mi, re, do, re, mi, 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 re, 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 mi, so, so. Good job. So we're done with the first half. Now we're going to do the second half of Mary Had a Little Lamb. Mary had a little lamb, little lamb, little lamb. Starting with me. Mary had a little lamb whose fleece was white as snow. Mi, re, do, re, mi, 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 re, re, mi, re, do. That was a soul fetch. Let's sing the second half again. Mary had a little lamb, little lamb, little lamb. Mary had a little lamb whose fleece was white as snow. Second half. Mary had a little lamb whose fleece 
face was white as snow. Now we're gonna sing the solfege. Mi, re, do, re, mi, 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 re, re, mi, re, do. Hey, you might have noticed a second ago I goofed up. I took a little extra time uh, to correct myself and get back on track. It's okay. You're going to make mistakes at home. I'm not expecting you to be perfect. I tell my students this. I don't expect them to be uh, perfect, but I do expect them to work hard and to try. Um, the people who do that, they often get the hard worker's glove. And some of them don't ever get the glove, but I notice that they work hard. And I appreciate that. Make sure you're working hard, hard at home as well. Let's do the whole song of Mary Had a Little Lamb singing uh, the soul fetch. The soul fetch. Some of you are like, ah, I'm scared. Okay, just follow along with me. We'll be all right. Okay, starting with me for Mary Had a Little Lamb. One, two, ready, go. Mi, re, do, re, mi, 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 re, 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 mi, so, so, mi, re, do, re, mi, 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 re, re, mi, re, do. Hey, we did it. Ooh, we did it. Ooh, we did it. Okay. I hope you enjoyed that. Um, for some of you, uh, my new viewers, you might not ever have done hand soul fetch, but you did it. And for my students at home, thanks for doing it with me. I love you guys. I miss you. And let's move on to our next activity, shall we? Now it's time for us to sing and read Pete the Cat, Five Little Bunnies by Kimberly and James Dean. One night, Pete was babysitting five little bunnies when all of a sudden... Five little bunnies hopping on the bed. One fell off and bumped his head. Pete called the doctor and the doctor said, No more bunnies hopping on the bed. Four little bunnies hopping on the bed. One fell off and bumped her head. Pete called the doctor and the doctor said, No more bunnies hopping on the bed. Three little bunnies hopping on the bed. One fell off and bumped his head. Pete called the doctor and the doctor said, No more bunnies hopping on the bed. Two little bunnies hopping on the bed. One fell off and bumped his head. Pete called the doctor and the doctor said, no more bunnies hopping on the bed. One little bunny hopping on the bed. One fell off and bumped her head. Pete called the doctor and the doctor said, Put those bunnies straight to bed. So Pete and the five little bunnies hopped right into bed. I would encourage you, after reading this story, to push the pause button and re-listen to the story. But, when you go to re-listen to it, go ahead and try to sing along with me. Our last book that we're going to read together is Boom Baby Boom Boom, written by Margaret Mai and Margaret Chamberlain. Make sure to stick around to the very end of the video because we're going to do some fun rhythm activities. Alright, let's get to reading! I've made a lovely lunch for you, Mama said, popping her baby into a blue high chair. I hope you are hungry, hungry, hungry. She did not know that the animals were listening at the window. You have beautiful bread and honey. You have two lettuce leaves. You have a sweet apple, peeled and pipped. You have a piece of cheese and a raw carrot scrubbed clean. What a lovely lunch for a hungry baby. And while you eat it all up, I'll just biddy boom boom on my diddy dum drums. Beating those drums makes me feel at ease with the world. She did not know that the animals were listening at the window. Boom biddy boom biddy boom boom boom. Closing her eyes, she smiled as she listened to the beat. 
She did not know that the animals were scrambling for the door. The baby looked at her lovely lunch. She picked up the piece of cheese, but she didn't eat it. Instead, she threw the cheese on the floor. In crept the yellow cat and ate it all up. Boom biddy, boom biddy, mew, mew, mew. Then the baby picked up the bread and honey. She leaned sideways in her blue high chair and threw the bread and honey on the floor. In lolloped the brown dog with the ginger eyebrows and ate it all up. Boom biddy, boom biddy, bow wow wow. Then the baby threw the slices of sweet apple on the floor and scuttled the hens and the red rooster in their yellow stockings, chuckling and clucking and pecked it all up. Boom biddy, boom biddy, cock a doodle doo. Then the baby threw the lettuce on the floor and trotted the black faced sheep on her high heeled hooves and ate it all up. Boom biddy, boom biddy, ba ba ba. Then the baby threw a raw carrot on the floor and ambled a brown and white cow and ate it all up. Mm. Boom biddy, boom biddy, moo, moo, moo. Mm. Suddenly, Mama stopped beating the ditty dum drums. There was no more boom biddy, boom biddy. Out ran the cat and out ran the dog. Mama sighed with happiness. Beating those drums made her feel really at ease with the world. Out flew the hens and the red rooster. Out trotted the sheep. <laughs> Up stood Mama. One last beat. One last boom. Out cantered the brown and white cow. When Mama turned around, the baby was sitting alone in her high chair. Her plate was completely empty. Oh, you good baby, cried Mama. <laughs> You've eaten every bit and bite of your lunch. Listening to my boom bitty boom boom beat must make you hungry, hungry, hungry. Then she hugged and kissed the baby mm -hmm. and gave her a banana, peeled and ready to eat. And the baby ate it all up. Boom bitty boom bitty yum yum yum. Hey, now we're going to do some rhythms. Notice that I have the word biddy, boom, boom, and the word diddy, dumb, drums. Biddy and boom start with the letter B's, and diddy and dumb and drums start with the letter D's. I want you to go ahead and find two pens or pencils or markers, and if you don't have any of those, go ahead and grab two spoons. Ooh, that would be really fun. Why don't you pause the video right now and go and find them, and whenever you're ready, come back and push the play button. All right, welcome back. I'm going to play these rhythms, and if you would like, you can join me. It goes like this. Biddy boom boom, diddy dum drums. Biddy boom boom, diddy dum drums. Tee tee ta ta, tee tee ta ta. Tee tee ta ta, tee tee ta ta. Did you notice a pattern? Yeah, I have a pair of eighth notes, a quarter note, and a quarter note going across these cards. And if I go directly down, it's the same pattern. Pair of eighth notes, quarter note, quarter note. Tee tee ta ta, tee tee ta ta. My rhythms repeat. However, the words are different. Biddy, boom, boom is not the same as diddy, dum, drums. Wow, I hope you're observant. I want you to play this rhythm all by yourself this time. I'm going to play the beat. The beat stays the same. The beat stays the same. The beat stays the same. But the rhythm changes with the words. So I want you to play the rhythm. Biddy, boom, boom, diddy, dum, drums, as I play the beat. Here's my beat. Get ready to begin. One, two, ready, go. Biddy, boom, boom, diddy, dum, drums. Do it again. 
Biddy boom boom. Diddy dum drum. So I'm going to join you. Biddy boom boom. Diddy dum drums. Last time. Biddy boom boom. Diddy dum drums. Muy bien. Hey, give yourselves a drum roll. Great. Now I want you, instead of saying the word biddy boom boom, I want you to say the rhythm. T T for the pair of eighth notes and ta for the quarter notes. Let's put our pens and markers and spoons or whatever utensil you got in your hand, put it down. And I want you to clap the rhythm and say the word. Let's just focus on the top card. One, two, ready, go. T T ta ta. Did you get it? Make sure you're saying the rhythm. T T ta ta. Okay, let's do all of the cards together. And we're only going to do it one time through. <gasps> hey, little ant. Good to see you. Welcome to our show. Aw, <laughs> he wants to play with us. Oh, nope, just kidding. He's running away. I scared him off. Bye, little ant. Okay, so let's make sure that we clap the rhythm and say TT for eighth notes and ta for quarter notes. One, two, ready, go. TT ta ta. TT ta ta. TT ta ta. TT ta ta. Do it one more time. TT ta ta. TT ta ta. Muy bien. I think you're doing a great job. I'm going to give you some new rhythms. We have boom bitty, boom bitty, whoa, those are like the exact same, boom bitty, boom bitty, ta titi, ta titi, and then we have something that's a little different, boom, 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 which we've seen this rhythm before, quarter notes, right, these are quarter notes, so I'm going to play it, and then I would like for you to join me whenever you're ready. One, two, ready, play. Boom, biddy, boom, biddy, boom, boom, boom. Boom, biddy, boom, biddy, boom, boom, boom. Ta, ti, ti, ta, ti, ti, ta, ta, ta. Ta, ti, ti, ta, ti, ti, ta, ta, ta. Huh, not too hard, huh? What was this kind of note called? Is it a quarter note? Or a half note. Oh, you haven't heard me say half note yet. This is a quarter note. And what are these called? A pair of stinky notes? A pair of poopy notes? No! A pair of eighth notes. All right. So we have quarter note, pair of eighth notes, quarter note, pair of eighth notes, and how many quarter notes left? One, two, three. All right. Hey. I want you to play this rhythm with me. Every time you see the quarter note, I want you to take your pens or your markers or your spoons or even your hands if you don't have any of those. And I want you to hit the ground with both of them at the same time. Boom. When you see a pair of eighth notes, I want you to hit it one at a time. Biddy. Biddy. Okay. Quarter note. I'm going to hit them at the same time. Boom. Pair of eighth notes. Alternate. Biddy. The last we have... Boom, boom, boom. Can you go ahead and practice saying the word and playing the uh, sticks <laughs> the correct way? One, two, ready, go. Boom, biddy, boom, biddy, boom, boom, boom. Together, alternate together, alternate together, together, together. Very good. I'm going to switch this up. Now I have boom, 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 biddy, boom, biddy. Ooh, this is a little tricky. Remember, we're going to read left to right. Here we go. Get your pens, markers, spoons, hands ready. One, two, do it with me. Boom, 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 biddy, boom, biddy. Again, boom, 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 boom. Biddy, boom, biddy. Last time. Boom, 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 boom. Biddy, boom, biddy. Can we do it a little faster? One, two, ready, go. 
Boom, 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 bitty, boom, bitty. Boom, 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 bitty, boom, bitty. Boom, 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 bitty, boom, bitty. Last time, boom, 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 bitty, boom, bitty. Muy bien. Take your pens, markers, spoons, hands, whatever it is, put it down. Now we're going to clap the rhythm. And we're going to say ta for quarter notes. Ta, 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 ta. And we're going to say titi for the pair of eighth notes. Titi. Ta, titi. We're going to clap it. Here we go. One, two, clap it with me. Ta, 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 ta. Titi, ta, titi. Ta, 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 ta. Titi, ta, titi. Ta, 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 ta. Titi, ta, titi. Last time, ta, 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 titi, ta, titi. Muy bien. If you didn't get it perfect, that's okay. Go ahead and pause the video and rewind it on the spots where maybe you're not doing too hot and just practice it. If you want to get this book, Boom, Baby, Boom, Boom, that is where I got these rhythms from. You can open up your book. And find a page that has the word boom, bitty, boom. Ooh, let's clap this rhythm, actually. And we have bow, wow, wow. For bow, wow, and wow, I want you to just clap once. Bow, wow, wow. Oh, we have bitty and bitty. We're going to clap that twice. Bitty, bitty. We have boom and boom. We clap that once. Boom, just a ta. Boom, ta. Let's clap all of this together. Can you do it with me? One, two, ready, go. Boom, bitty, boom, bitty, bow, wow, wow. Faster. Boom, bitty, boom, bitty, bow, wow, wow. Faster. Boom, bitty, boom, bitty, bow, wow, wow. Faster. Boom, bitty, boom, bitty, bow, wow, wow. Hey. All right. Well, I sure hope you enjoyed our little rhythm activity. If you want to be creative, go ahead and make your own little rhythm note cards and put them in whatever order you want. You don't even have to use the word boom and word boom or bitty you can use whatever word you want and just put them in different orders and clap them and play them all right i hope you enjoyed learning about rhythms today well kiddos that concludes today's lesson thank you for joining me on this melody miracle lace wednesday and hey even if it's not wednesday i sure hope that you enjoyed the video i love you guys and i hope that you have a fantastic week also, if you want to continue to see more videos being uploaded, I do upload them throughout the week. Sometimes they're Melody Miracoles episodes, and sometimes they're just regular compositions. If you're one of my Santa Fe South students, listen up. Check out your Classroom Dojo profile. There, I have uploaded your assignment for this week's lesson. You will have two weeks to complete the lesson. But it's better to finish early than to wait two weeks after. Don't procrastinate. Remember, be kind, be safe, and be ready. Love you guys. Adios, niños. I'll see you next week.